Okay, we're back on the 6.8 liter garage. Uh, today we're going to revisit an old project. Um, a while back, last year I made a, I think I called it a triple stack tri-tip rack. So it's a, a rack that allows you to get three full-size tri-tips onto a Weber kettle, which by the way is the best grill ever made. Uh, it's the best grill I've ever owned. Um, I do like my Weber, Weber kettle. And you know, as a matter of fact, the last time I used the kettle, I used that rack. So let's go on a field trip out to the uh, backyard and um, I'll show you the remains of, uh, or what it looks like when you don't clean it up after you cook three tri-tips for Easter. So let's go back out there. Okay, so this is my Weber kettle. I think it's a performer model. Comes with a little table. And there's the rack that I made. So this allows you to cook three tri-tips. And this is, you can see it's set up for indirect heat. So have the, the coals and the baskets on either side, have a drip pan underneath. And then this allows you to stack three tri-tips in your kettle and uh, cook three full-size tri-tips so roughly three to four pounds each um, so you can you can uh, feed a dozen people um, you know without I mean there's nothing easier than cooking tri-tips on this rack so anyway I stack three tri-tips in there and uh, turn the heat up or get the heat about 350 400 degrees stack your three tri-tips in there close the lid come back in 45 minutes perfect tri-tips um, the reason we're, we're revisiting this is my son-in-law wants one he has a Weber kettle because he's a smart guy and uh, he wants a rack like this and benefit to me is when he cooks three tri-tips I'm usually there so um, good deal for me so I'm gonna go revisit this project uh, grab those files and we'll cut it out and weld up a, a rack for him okay we're all set up for the first uh, cut of the first plate uh, here's the settings it's uh, 10 gauge material feed rates 86 inches per minute and everything else is pretty standard and now if I fire up the plasma Cut 60 set at 40 amps. And we should be able to make some sparks.
Okay, I got an incomplete cut. Happens sometimes. I'm gonna use the hand torch to finish that cut and then I'm gonna clean up the remaining material while I'm at it. Okay, I've got the next drawing loaded up. It's just uh, two of the spacers. So um, these are the legs that hold the griddle parts apart. So I'm cutting those two at a time. So the first one's ready to go. Let's see how that comes out. Okay, and then two more spacers. Okay, most of the little diamonds came out just by tapping, tapping it on the metal. But since they didn't all come out that easily, we have the persuader. So everything's cut out and cleaned up and now I'm getting ready to weld it together. That's the original. Um, it's clean now. I put it through the dishwasher. It's just got some, uh, from when I seasoned it, it's still got some oil on it. So that, I just screwed that up. Okay, so 35. 36 is the uh, angle I think we want to have on this. So what I'm going to do is mock this up to 36 degrees. 36 degrees. So that's where we want it, 36 degrees. So I'm going to tack that and then, oh, you can't see. So there we go. I just have to put three of those together at 36 degrees and then we hook them all the three pieces together so first step is to tack that Do three of them just like that.
Okay, so now they're all tacked. I'll put a better weld on them before I assemble them. All right guys, that's the project for today. Another triple stack tri-tip rack. Um, I know it's a little bit of a, a repeat, we'll say, uh, reworking another project, but it's kind of a lesson, you know, when you draw something, save it. You never know if someone else is gonna want it. Um, in this case, you know, my son-in-law wanted a rack. He saw me using mine again on Easter, and he's like, I gotta get one of those. Well, obviously, he can't just get one of those, so. Um, I, I whipped one up from, you know, the saved files. Not too difficult. Um, basically a copy of the original. Original looks kind of nasty because <laughs> it's been used. But um, and Arc Droid setup still going well. Works perfectly for me. Um, nothing bad to say about that. Not that anybody's here to hear anything bad. But. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the video or don't know what the tri-tip rack is or don't even know what a tri-tip is, um, I'll link the original video to the end of this where I, sh I show it in use. And Well, actually, if I'm real creative, right here you can see... I have laptop guy put it up here, but right here you can see a picture of uh, some tri-tips on, on my rack cooking. And uh, it works. it really does work really well. You can't get three, you know, three, three to four pound tri-tips onto a Weber kettle for indirect cooking. It just, they just don't fit. But by stacking them on this rack like this, um, they, they fit pretty well. And uh, set it up for indirect heat, put your tri-tips on, close the lid, come back in 45 minutes, and they're ready to pull off. I mean, I'm I'm not real a stickler for the heat. It's somewhere you know if you're between 350 and 450 even three 350 400 somewhere around there. Good enough. Close the lid and go back to your party. Come back in 45 minutes. Cook something else. Put a side dish together. Whatever. But uh, yeah, when you get back, open the lid. They'll be perfect, just like this. So anyway, thanks for watching and. Uh, you can support the channel by uh, subscribing. That'd be good. Subscribe. Leave any questions. Like the video. Leave any questions you've got. Comments. Uh, questions like, you've got a vise sitting right here. Why are you trying to hold those pieces with your hands when you're grinding? Um, I figured that out with the last two pieces. So, uh, anyway, I appreciate you watching and uh, see you next time. Mm -hmm.